Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another piercing video and it's about my nipple piercing. I've recently uploaded a nipple piercing update video but this video will probably set my healing back quite some time but if you follow me on any of my piercing journeys I document everything that I can and give you advice so if that interests you like and subscribe to my channel and there will be other content but at the moment I love my piercings and that's what I like talking about so as you can tell from the title I hurt myself quite bad on my most recent piece of my nipple I'm just gonna give you a heads up if you don't like stories that are like or like hearing about blood or anything like that then I recommend switching over it's not too gruesome I'm not gonna go too much into it but I will be talking about blood and stuff like that so I'm pretty sure it was a Saturday when it happened I say that because I wasn't at work and I haven't had any time off recently from work so I'm pretty sure it was a Saturday so James popped down to Tesco's he had walked for some strange reason because he never does like he always drives like although it's like a three minute drive up the road and like a 25 minute walk he, today he decided to walk it for some reason and um I was getting dressed I put on a dress and you know you look in the mirror you're like I've got some creases I need to iron it so normally I went and got the iron out I put the iron up, like the ironing board, and then I had to go get the iron. Now, in the process of me obviously getting the iron and putting the iron on the ironing board and switching it on, I obviously wasn't dressed from like this far up because I'm ironing what I was putting on. And, you know, I was bare. I was here on my own, don't judge. I had bent down to plug in the iron, and as I came up, I have caught my nipple bar on the metal part of the ironing board where the iron sits and I've just continued to move up. At that point, I've just grabbed my boot. I'm just like this because the pain I experienced was so unreal. Like, I'm not even joking. I was crying. Like, the, the tears were instant. They were streaming. I was like, I just, I, I stood there and then, like, it felt like an eternity had passed. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I've looked at my hand, now I haven't looked down at this point, I'm like, I can't look, I'm not looking, like, my nipple's going to be hanging off, I'm going to have to go to a and &E. I'm going to have a wonky nipple when they sew it back, you know, like in a film, when they look at a gunshot wound, and they're like, oh, oh, oh my god, like, that was me, like, I looked at my hand, and there was so much blood, like, I didn't think one nipple could produce so much blood, but it did, like, there was a lot, and I've just covered it back up, and I'm like, oh my god, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I called James and he was like, what do you want me to do? I walked to Tesco's. And I was like, I could be dying of a ripped nipple and you're in Tesco's buying garlic bread. Like, can you hurry up? He was like, okay, I'm leaving. I'm just buying it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm starting to get really hot and sweaty at this point. Like, even talking about this right now, like, I feel myself getting all clammy. And I call up Hannah and I'm like, Hannah, I think, I'm, I think I've ripped my nipple off. Like, I was like, I've caught it. I think it's okay. I, I, like, I can't even remember exactly what I said to her because I was just so, like, out of it. But you can ask her. I was, like, a mess. I was like, I'm all hot. I, like, tried to get water and, like, cover myself. She was like, look, just lay down. Wait for it to pass. You know, you need to clear it up. She's done it before. Not with an ironing board. But, you know, she's ripped it. So she was like, look, just, you need to make sure you calm down. Sort yourself out. Then clean it up. As per Nurse Hannah's request, I got the salt water that I usually clean my piercings with this is the salt I use and it's from Tesco's so yeah I've cleaned it up and I've put a plaster on it because I thought if I've ripped it nipple piercings heal really quick like I'm pretty sure I know people that have taken them out and they've healed like the next couple of days like really quick so I figure okay this rip could you know heal a lot quicker than this one like it would just heal but I didn't want it to heal around the rip so it was further up so I put a plaster on it to try and hold it down and then you know every day I cleaned it every couple of hours I cleaned it where I could I couldn't clean it at work but when I was at home as soon as I got in I was cleaning it I was holding like a glass of salt water over it and I said like, please heal please heal um I don't think it's fully healed because my nipple bar doesn't sit as low as it did it's now like a lot higher which makes me feel really 
sick. It, it makes me feel really funny even thinking about it now because for the next couple of days, my boob was so bruised. Like, not so much on the outside, but inside, like, I could feel it. I, I really hurt to wear a bra, and sometimes even now it gets uncomfortable. Um, so I definitely really hurt myself with it. I'm one of the lucky ones that didn't rip my nipple off, but the pain I felt was so bad. So just make sure if you do have a nipple piercing, you're careful with it. Because I've had like my belly button pierced for so long, I think I never caught that, so I'm not really gonna catch this because it's on my body and it just sort of like you you subconsciously work around it, I guess, but on this occasion I didn't. So now I make sure, you know, I'm always thinking like when I come past the ironing board i'm like <laughs> even when i'm fully clothed but um yeah so just be careful with it if you have it you know if you do catch it even if it's not a big rip make sure you get the salt water on it make sure you get it cleaned and if it is bad get it checked out um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Oh, okay um but i hope it provides some insight as to how easily you can catch a nipple piercing on day-to-day -day household items and um, like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye